welcome to another Jamalongs YouTube commentary tutorial video. In this video, we're going to be teaching you how to play backup and lead parts for the song Pocahontas, as performed by Gillian Welch and David Rawlings. They perform this lovely and slow song in the key of E, and I'm going to suggest playing it in the key of D, capoed up twice, with the exception of the fifth string being capoed or spiked at the ninth fret. This gives it that drony sound for the fifth on that bell tone. So basically you're going to be playing with the capo on the second fret and then in the fifth fret you need to be capoed or spiked at the ninth fret. And we're going to be using a lovely D chord that is shaped like, actually ironically, a guitar D chord with the um, middle finger on the first string at the second fret, the third finger on the second string at the third fret, and then the pointer finger at the G string at the second fret. And when they go up to that next uh, e minor chord as far as we're concerned we're just going to move that up two frets okay so the chord progression here basically goes and I'm talking in the non capoed key so um, you other pickers out there will have to translate this up a whole tone so basically it goes D doing nice soft rolls with your hand up by the Y position we're going to move that D, which is actually a D add 9, that guitar shaped D, up two frets to get that E minor chord. Really nice sweet sound and then back down to the D position. Okay, and then they go to an A chord. We're going to make not a bar, but an A where we're doing once again a guitar style A, which makes it sort of a, a add 4 or suspended sound with that open first string. Once again, we're trying to achieve a very melancholy, almost um, piquant sound here. Very sad but sweet. And then we go to uh, a C with the open first string. And I like to slide up to that G note, briefly back to D. So let me talk you through the chord progression, and then we'll go ahead and play it along with the video. Here's the chord. Start with that D at 9. up two frets, back to D, heads up, here's that A, C, G, D. That's pretty much your whole backup part, okay? Um, and you can do mellow rolls, I'm basically doing sort of hybrid, mixed up forward reverse rolls. to give that kind of nice flowing sound. You could also do a, a boom chuck that will go a uh, hybrid boom chuck, thumb, thumb, and then pinch, and then thumb. So you would have this sound. There's the E minor. Back to D. And then the A. C, G, D. All right. So that's a pleasant accompanying or backup part for this song. Let's go ahead and play that a couple verses through so you can get practice with the backup and then we'll talk about a lead part. Leaving lots of space. Thank you. 
So as you can see, we're trying to keep a really sweet, soft sound with lots of space, lots of rests, and playing with our uh, right hand in what's known as the Y position to make a soft, sweet sound, unlike that typical crisp, rattly, twangy banjo sound, which we don't want on this song. Now for the lead, you'd sort of mimic her vocal melody, which is that da -da 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 for the E minor, and then do pretty much the A chord, and then the C, and then the G, and the D. So I'd recommend a slow arpeggio based lead part that might sound something like this. rightly that the first half of that we're doing a melody line the second half of that lead over that ACG bit we're just playing the same thing we played in the backup part which is really cool because it ties the two together and gives sort of a unity of conception okay so let's play that new lead part along with the track he'll be playing harmonica I couldn't talk him out of it so just consider that a background part to our lead watching our YouTube commentary tutorial on how to play Pocahontas as performed by Gillian Welch and David Rawlings on your banjo and not sound like a twangy loud annoying instrument but sound actually pretty. Once again you can order any of these YouTube commentary tutorials for yourself for any song you'd like to learn on YouTube. Basically contact us at jamalong.org and uh, send us the YouTube link and we'll make that for you. Um, you can also acquire the tablature for all of these banjo parts on this video, as well as the MP3 recordings to help you in learning by contacting us as well in the links below. Go ahead and subscribe to our channel, have fun playing this song, and keep on jamming.